Hello and welcome to this guide on how to do your homework. To make the content in this video more accessible, click the closed captions button or adjust the playback speed. When starting an assignment, it is important to review your project guidelines and rubric found in the learning module of your course online. Your project guidelines and rubric are made up of components that help you understand what your instructor is looking for when grading your submissions. These can include course competencies and overview, a prompt, directions, what to submit, and a grading rubric. When starting your assignments, it's good to start with the course competencies and overview. These are generally the first two sections of your assignment guidelines. Course competencies can help you understand what important course concepts this project will be assessing. The overview puts the assignment into context within your course, often explaining a recent lesson or experience that is relevant to the assignment and the purpose of the assignment. The next section of your assignment is the prompt. The prompt explains what you will be completing for the assignment. The prompt may ask you to write an essay a PowerPoint presentation, or a short response, just to name a few examples. The prompt in this example explains what completing the assignment can do for you. Beneath the prompt, you'll find the directions for the project. This part of the rubric more directly addresses what you will submit for the assignment. Within the directions, you may find critical elements or rubric criteria in the form of an outline or a list of questions to answer. For example, the rubric criteria on this assignment offer an outline. Not only does the outline offer a guide for how to structure and organize the essay, it also gives guidance on what to include in each section. This section can seem like a lot. Read through it a few times and identify what each part of the directions is asking before you start drafting. Under the directions, you'll find a section explaining formatting guidelines called what to submit. If there's a template for the project or a specific library guide, you'll likely find a link to it there. Here, you may find links, expectations, or it may clarify if APA or MLA format is required. Finally, your assignment guidelines should have a grading rubric. This chart usually has the criteria that will be assessed in your submission, as well as proficiency categories, which your instructor uses to determine what percentage of achievement you've reached. Proficiency categories typically include exemplary, proficient, needs improvement, and not evident. But this is something that changes from assignment to assignment. To understand what your instructor expects from an exemplary submission, make sure to read the rubric carefully. It is your best guide to understanding how to fully complete the assignment. In this video, we discussed how to do your homework by looking closely at the different parts of your assignment guidelines and rubric. For more Academic Support Center resources, read this video's description. Thank you for watching. We hope to work with you soon.